You need four million in assets in order to retire. <laughs> That's what the retirement fear mongers say. I can share with you an email my man Mike sent. Uh, is is awesome. Um, <laughs> Because they're always going to say, you hear Fidelity does this study every year. Um, Genworth, all these guys, they hawk this fear monitoring stuff. You need 286000 to cover your health care costs. And that's before long-term care. And everyone freaks out. You don't have enough. You don't have enough. There's no way you can retire. Keep working. Keep working. Um, and, and the whole thing about it is stupid. Because basically, if you take... The cost of your Part B, let's just do it. We say the cost of our Part B is 150. Cost of our Part a, a, a D is, is 50. That's 200 bucks a month. The cost for our Part, our Medigap policy is 150. That's $350 a month. You times that by 12. That's 4,200 a year. All right. Times we're not even going to. We're just say for 30 years in retirement. We're not even going to say uh, that uh, we're inflating that at all. Times 30 years of retirement. That's 126,000. Excuse me, buddy. Close the door. You're not a very happy camper here. You can't sit still. So that's 126,000, not even including inflation. Take it for Charlotte and me, 126,000 times two is 252,000. There's your 286,000 that Fidelity says or whatever they're saying now. It's the whole thing's freaking nuts. But it's not 286,000 I need today. It's, excuse me, it's 286,000 or 300,000 I need over the course of a 30-year retirement, as I just told you right, with simple numbers right there. All right, so if we're going to do the same tricks, we're going to say, according to my man Mike here, he goes, you're going to need 862000 to cover your taxes. So 252000 plus another 862000 to cover your taxes. Let's see. Uh, he talks about total Medigap, Medicare parts B and D, 177. I just added the part you need that Medigap too. He says, and you're also going to need $3.1 million. So he's doing $3.1 million. Uh, which which doesn't include taxes and Medicare, uh, which is which is likely where they're going to get the data that you need three million in order to retire because his retirement budget is three point one million. Now he's inflating this, and I'm not. But just for simplicity, if you're going to be, let's say, you spend fifty thousand a year on retirement for th uh, for thirty years, fifty times thirty thousand is one point five million. Plus, you know, again, we're talking another uh, three hundred thousand. In terms of uh, healthcare costs, and again, that's before any out-of-pocket expense. That's before long-term care, and then whatever your income taxes are. So right there, we just showed you you need two to three to four million dollars, regardless of uh, of what you have right now. If you don't have two to three to four million dollars, you can't retire. But that's freaking stupid. That's stupid. You don't need it today. You need it over the course of a 20, 30 year retirement. So who, who gives two craps what you need today? If I mean, it, I, it matters, don't get me wrong, but the idea that I need $4 million today to retire successfully is freaking insane. It's insane. And these people who run these numbers are just, they're, they're full of crap, man. And on to, so then, of course, what they say is work longer, work longer, work longer, uh, work longer. And then I just got an email today uh, from a man, Don, in South Carolina. Checked it, literally, I just literally got this four minutes ago. Uh, hold on a second. I just had it. I got this. Maybe not four minutes. I got it. Let's see. 12 minutes ago. 15 minutes ago. 15 minutes ago. He goes, hey, Josh, I just got word that an old friend of mine from the neighborhood where I grew up has, has been taken off life support after a stroke. He's a year younger than me. And he and my man Don here is just shy of 61. So that means that guy was 60 years old. I was hoping to get out at 63. I might have to move up my timeline. He says, this sucks. It does suck. I got off the horn today with a client who uh, was out healthy. He was out there mowing the yard, had a heart attack, didn't even realize he had a heart attack. 90 degrees in Northern Virginia, uh, you know, what, 10 years or something like that ago, mowing, had a heart, didn't know. And a couple months later, he's still like, I don't feel good. So he goes to the doc and they said, dude, you've had a heart attack. Your heart is basically crumbling in front of our very eyes. You should have came in here before. And, and now he's... You know, he says he's probably going to live till he's 71. So he's 61 now. We're running retirement plans for him only living another 10 years. Now, he's, do, he's doing it good. He wants to make sure he's leaving his, most to his wife and that they're going to have fun in the next 10 years. But what if what if that was him? He's like, I'm going to keep working, keep working, keep working. And kaboom, done. <sighs> Don't let the fear mongers win, man. Don't let them win. They're full of crap. Yeah, I will right, we'll see you.